doing. I was looking up some betting and stuff. Okay. All right. Settle down. Everybody relax. Okay. Are you going to put the covers on you as well? <laughs> you're like, I don't know. Maybe. It's like you're. It's like you're hiding something from me. We're gonna figure it out together. We're gonna see, huh? I'm just happy to see you. <laughs> just, just happy to see you. You know what I mean? Are we alive? <laughs> oh, great news! Yeah. <laughs> All right, keep it on that screen so I can see the comments. Yeah. We should have just paused it, just be like, hello, darkness, my old friend, because nobody was there. copyrighted, you know that? Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> right, I forgot. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> night, night. Let's go, dude. You can put it up, but uh, it just, it, all right, fuck it, I agree. I agree. Guys, we're back, we're in it. We had to take. Took a little bit of time off. Yeah, it's so funny. I put that post out there, and then you just saying, did it. We just you need to be online. <laughs> yeah, and then you we weren't. We weren't. I was like, yeah. oh shit! <laughs> I was like, don't put that. Mike is uh, is he dead? Where is Mike? I haven't seen Mike in like three weeks. You know, I know he's awake because he was po- he was sending me stuff on, uh, on Instagram. No, Facebook. Facebook uh, memes yeah. messages. Oh my god, this is such a funny one. Hold on. You got to see this. Okay, one. I will. Yeah, Mike is uh he, he says that he so he he I guess is would be considered sick, but he's he feels okay, but his voice sounds like shit. And I didn't want that. So he needs to get out. So he got out. Yeah, he don't he's not feeling too great. He's not feeling that. <laughs> Fucking Mike, our guy, dude. I haven't seen Mike in forever, man. Yeah, that's right. You I'm probably, a bad what is, friend. What is it, like three weeks? It's got to be. I was like, dude. I mean, I've talked to him, of course, but oh, I got to be better. I have to be better at it. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, oh did you lose the meme? No, I have it. Isn't that it. the worst? I have it. Don't you hate it when you're scrolling on Facebook and you see a meme? Because I sent it to my boss. Oh, <laughs> you see, like, a meme and you're like, ha, hell yeah. And then you go to, like... You go to like click on it and it accidentally refreshes and you're like fuck and then you have to try to find it and then you can't find it. Scroll down. I think you could scroll right. I have it zoomed in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw I I saw that. Oh I saw oh, Trim! Oh saw it! Oh, oh. Saw it! Trav, fucking love Trav. What's up, bro? Oh, man. We're going to that Rays game tomorrow? Yes. There's going to be a ton of MVP people there, too. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a let. We get cool-ass hats. Did I tell you about the cool-ass hats? No, you didn't tell me They're shit. They're like straw hats. You're like, drive my ass. And we oh, got, like, shit. straw hats and then, like, you know. Straw hats? Yeah. Are you talking about, like, like gardening hats? No, like, oh, so. Uh, no, dude, like a straw hat, you know? Oh, dude. Oh, oh. I feel like society is just becoming more and more like... Uh, Grunt? No, like the turtle from Finding Nemo. Oh, yeah. I love that <laughs> fucking turtle. No, it's, they're cool-ass straw hats. You know, I feel like I'm becoming more Dory from from Finding Nemo. Okay, like, why is that? I don't know. You just like distracted, like oh squirrel, you know. They're gonna look like those. Oh, I want one. But they're raised hats. Yeah, dude, they're gonna be fucking sick. How did he get those? Huh? How did he the get tickets them? that we bought are in that section. It's like a promo. Is it the Randy section? No, no, no. We're gonna be, yeah, right. Crush is a hero. Have you seen the videos of? I I love how this is how we're talking. Like this is what we're talking about is Crush. Um, they got a thing where Crush comes out on like a screen at like an aquarium for for tits, <laughs> for like kids and shit, mm-hmm. and then like you could ask him questions, 
and it's hilarious. Oh yeah, you get a Jeff Goldblum. Oh, Jeff Goldblum. Oh, oh, the Goldblum. Look at it. Oh, oh yeah. Love me tender. You know what I mean. <laughs> oh. oh, that's good. What's up, Mike? How you feeling, bud? You okay? You gonna survive? Are you crushing it? Well, get comfortable, you <laughs> fuck. Hey, man. It should be you, dude, but you got sick with your sickness or whatever. I don't I don't know what's wrong with you. I just know that your voice sounds fucked. He's faking it? Yeah, he just doesn't want to see me. No, I think I think it's too much cock down the throat. Oh. That's why he has no voice. That's what we're doing? We're going to go. We are... Not even six minutes into the live podcast, and we've already got fucking dick joke. Bye bye. I'm with Mike right now. We're just chilling, dude. What are you guys doing? We're just hanging out. They're cuddling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Fucking hell yeah, dude. See, the comments love it when you lay out like that. Everybody's like, God, dude. Oh, I was he, talking. You passed my drink over there. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? No, they're right here. Oh. You cock. You copied me. Yeah, I got a water. And, and you, a soda. Yeah, I, well, I got, for the record, they're my sodas. Like, I got a soda first and a water, and then I brought it in, and then you brought in the same shit. So it's fine. It's all right. I'm not even upset about it. Let's talk about the cruise. It's, a, it's been on my mind. So when is the cruise again? Super Bowl Sunday week weekend. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, and we're not coming back till Monday, which means that we have a reason to be off of work Monday so that we can get fucked on that cruise, dude. Hell yeah. By who? Or, I meant drunk, oh. but that'd be cool, too. That'd be hey, nice, that'd yeah. be fun, yeah. Yeah. There's like going to be a lot of options, you know? It doesn't count because it's out in, in the sea, so... I have a sinking feeling about this. Trip. Yeah, right. <laughs> Fucking if we go down, dude, we go down. We will be the Titanic that people are going to want to see. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> we are going to be. How? By the way, I have it. <laughs> by who? <laughs> yeah. Um, I hope we don't have an implosion. On the... No. So how many people are on that? I think. Well, let's let's do a little bit of math here. There was. Was there a hundred something rooms, or was there what? Not the cruise ship. I meant the thing that's in the ocean that has the dead people on it now. Five. There's five people, right? And they're all dudes, apparently. They're all dudes. Yes, there yeah, was. Dudes I there. heard it was like, oh, it's all guys. I'm like, probably trying to fucking get out the house. So what happened? I I don't watch the news because it so, fucking makes me so sad. So what they what they think happened was, as they were descending uh. to the Titanic. Because uh, they said that um, the equivalent weight um, or pressure that's around that, uh, huh? Pass. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fuck. All my friends are not for me in any So the, 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 equ- the equivalent pressure that far down is... If the Empire State Building was on top of you around all sides. So so you get Empire State Building here, 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 and here. So when it sounds like they, the the military knew that they were, uh, what is it? <laughs> the RKO. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> my God, he got the RKO! So they, they had a ca- catastrophic failure on the way down to the Titanic. So would they just lose pressure inside the thing, or the yeah, ship there, there stopped was, working? We, yeah, no, the ship literally imploded on itself. They died instantly. No. Oh. Yeah, so it's a pretty quick Well, death. then why can't they find them? Because they're pieces. Oh, so it like exploded in the water. They found the debris field past the Titanic. So they're with the Titanic now. Oh, okay. Top five <laughs> ways you want to go out? I mean, implosion? If you don't feel it. Dude's night. <laughs> it's night. I want to go out when my bros go out. We're going out together. No. But uh, that would be a funny top five. Do, uh, top five re- ways that you want to die. <laughs> I think we'll save that for next week. Yeah. No, for sure. No, I agree. Um, fucking Juice World. 
We should do top five. Juice World? Juice World. <laughs> Shout out to Juice World. He fucking... So somebody stitched on him, and when his plane landed, there was a bunch of feds. So he took a bunch of pills, I guess, to try to hide him, and then he fucking died. All my men are dead, but me tell you. And he's saying that song. Wow. That's a good way. Top five ways you want to go out. Fucking dick deep in a bitch. You know, like, that's number one. <laughs> like a heart attack on Viagra? <laughs> like, in a, you know, fucking, you know what I mean? Because you know that happens every like year. Like in a fucking, <laughs> you know? Like a fucking no, no, not evil Knievel style. No, dude. No. Jumping some freaking. Second way would be like. I can't believe we're talking in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> fucking just get anywhere in the top five. Probably like a Disney World would be a good one. <laughs> <laughs> the teacups. The teacups. You're just like oh. oh. Grandpa's having a good time. Oh. That's fun. Anyway. That is fun. Anyway, there's the cruise. The cruise. Yeah. It's going to be a shit show. Why? I mean that in the best way possible. There's going to be a fuckload of people there fighting a silverback gorilla. It's a good way out. Fucking rest in peace, Harambe. Harambe's hombres. Shout out. My first ever MVP team was a kickball team with Mike, who got me started. We were called Harambe's hombres. <laughs> No, I think I think one of the worst ways, to, one of the well, best ways to go out, sorry, would be uh, hugging a grizzly bear because you get the the soft, warm, fuzzy feeling until he claws until out he your claws, organs. Yeah, until he claws no. you. No, you don't want to die painfully. Dicks out, <laughs> dude. Dicks out for Harambe. <laughs> Fucking oh yeah. Uh. So, so the cruise. Where are we going again? Mexico? Cozumel, yeah. Never been to Mexico. <sighs> Neither have I. I know a ton of people from there. Would it be racist for me to wear a sombrero? No. Just trying to fit in with the culture, right? Mm-hmm. It might be a little bit because of your pale skin. Like, if you could get tan, I'd probably better. be sunburnt by that point. You know, you are getting a little bit of color in you. Not like red. Like, your face looks tanner. Where? <laughs> no, like on your face, dude. You do look a little bit tanner. It might be the light, though. I could be fucking having a stroke. We don't know. Do you smell burnt toast? No, I can't smell anything. <laughs> <laughs> fucking raise your hand if your allergies have been fucking destroying you this week. Yeah, you betcha. Yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> Coloring you. <laughs> Oh, that's a good time. So I heard there's going to be games. So there's MVP related games. Um, there's people. Uh, shout out COVID. Sh- sh- shout out. Um, there's going to be a wedding. Somebody's yeah. getting married. I don't know if people are supposed to know that. So like that's why I'm not saying names. Hey, you just said it on the podcast. Yeah, I'm saying there's a wedding, but I'm not saying who. I'll, I'll tell you about it when we're off mic. So, so are, are, there's going to be like apparently. See, I've never been on a cruise. Me neither. Ever. Well, we a- were supposed to go for our dirty thirty. Yeah. Apparently, there's a fucking casino on the cruise. There's a casino, probably shopping mall. Yeah. A couple swimming pools, buffets. Well, oh. buffets. Yeah, I'm getting the fucking drink package too. Well, the good thing about Royal Caribbean, from what I understand, it is truly unlimited. Yeah. Whereas Carnival, I think it's limited to 15 drinks. <laughs> I thought it is Carnival. No, I thought it was Royal Caribbean. No. It's no, it's Royal Caribbean because that's what... Uh, uh, what's his name said? Chris. You're like 100%? I, that's the email he sent out. Oh, cool. All right. Well, I don't well, read emails. Y- so. y- you know who would know? Justino. I don't know how, how I'm going to... Yeah, it's Royal Caribbean. Ka- Ka- Caribbean? Caribbean. <laughs> Can I... Can I tell you something? I want to talk to you about something. Yeah. So the kids, it's Royal Caribbean. It does, doesn't it? Caribbean. <laughs> We're just making fun of her. <laughs> Fuck. My bad, dog. I'll see you in Mexico. I know I'm getting there, but I'll be there. Just If you hop the fence into Mexico, I'm sure nobody will stop you. Mm. No, they're trying to stop people the other way. Hmm. 
Well, I'm going to make sure I get my passport because you never yeah. know. Yeah, I'm going to get my passport too. Yeah. You fucking sucked up, kidding. You, you, you forgot an S at the end of spell. <laughs> I spe- <laughs> no, she's saying I spell great. Submarine, probably. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Gonna take a pit stop to the Titanic. Are they gonna have a us? Now on a, on a trip like this, do on they have? On your left hand side of the ship, we see the Titanic and the ghost of the submarine past. <laughs> Mike, please stop riding the dolphins. Mike, stop. Dude, I read this the other day. It was a picture of a plane with a hole in it. In the side. And essentially it was like a Middle Eastern. I'm sorry, I'm not more specific. And I promise I'm not meaning this to sound. But it was a suicide bomber from the Middle East somewhere. And he brought like a bomb to blow up the plane. But what happened was is he put it by his feet. And on takeoff, it exploded a hole out the side, and only the suicide bomber got sucked out and killed. <laughs> Imagine being so bad at your job that you can't do that correctly. Well, they say you should be strapped in, just in case that happens. <laughs> yeah, hey, should have had your seatbelt on, bro. You saw the light. Doom, doom. You know no, seriously, that happened on a flight. They 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 had explosive decompression like one of the windows failed. Oh, fun! And like like the the shell of the plane freaking came off, oh. and and the only people only the stewardesses were sucked out. So the only people that didn't have seatbelt uh, seatbelts on and the stewardess were sucked out. Yep. So all the people with seatbelts were like, "Fuck!" Yeah, sick. What a fucking ride. Put that at Bush Gardens. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck. What, you, what would you call it? You want to feel? You want to know what it feels like to die? I mean, a little bit, kind of. Oh man, what an interesting set of topics that we've started with today. You started it. I I, I ramble. You know how so, I am. So I heard Cozumel is kind of like the tourist like. Yeah, I heard it's like super touristy or whatever. Yeah, and probably where I'm, they. I'm not even going to spend that much time in Mexico, to be honest. How much? How do they park a cruise ship? You just, you know, just drive it real fast into the sand. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. I, I don't I don't know. I guess, I guess <laughs> get a bunch of people to push it off the sand to float it back. I, you know? I can imagine so many people can't wait to get off the ship if they're climbing down the anchor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm probably going to go to Cozumel, obviously, because it's like. um, Yeah. Yeah. So it's like I, I'm going to see some cool stuff. Never been to a different country before. Granted, Mexico's like right there, so it's not like that big of a deal. So it's kind of like, like Canada. I have to go. Yeah, like Canada to me would just feel like New Jersey. You know, like it's just cold and there's buildings. You know what I mean? Like that's all. Well, and people are nicer there. Well, but. the reason I asked that is, uh, is some places like you know touristy places that like cruise ships go to. They have the designated area. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Mike, we know I'm dying alone, but I appreciate the effort. No, the uh, they have like a certain area, and you're not really supposed to go out of that area. Yeah, because people will kill you. Where you or, stand. or like when, you know, in Cuba, you know, they, they have a, there's a big ass fence where you're not supposed to cross. Like if you're on. Yeah, Cuba's different because, um, you know, they don't like us. Mexico doesn't mind, especially there in Cosmo, because uh, they like our money. So we might get robbed, but in Cuba, we'll die. All, but, I, know, all I know is no drinking in the water. <laughs> I love you too, dude. Uh, I tell you, I fucking love you, dude. I fucking love you, dude. You always make me feel better about myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like, at least I won't die alone like Cody. Um, no, but... uh. Yeah, I mean, I'll go there, hang out, be like, oh, I stepped into a different country. And then, I mean, the drinks. You like put your toe out. You're like, oh, <laughs> I did it. No. But, I mean, if the drinks are free on the ship. I want it to be where. You know what I mean, though? It's like, yeah, I get it. Go to Cozumel for like a couple hours. But, like, if the drinks are free on the ship, why am I going to drop like $500 in Cozumel when I get drink for free on the ship? Well, here's the thing. There's a, there's a place I think I want to find 
Is so it off Ocean Avenue? I don't know. There's a place off of... Never mind. <laughs> you better watch yourself. Dude, it was hilarious. It was so good, dude. Um, I know it sucks with the copyright stuff, but... I know. <laughs> but if you just say it, they won't copyright it. So yeah. if you sing it, they will. But if you're like, there is a place... Well, it's off Ocean you Avenue. Can't, you can't, and nobody could be like Mike and his Twitch Taylor Swift voice. Okay. Yellow card. <laughs> I had to figure it out. Do you see that? That's how old I am. I got like a fucking pinky that I got to throw up. It sucks. My life is no. Terrible. There is there's a bar where, uh, where, uh, like cruising the people who work in the cruise industry. Yeah. Their last cruise, they go there and they stick up their name tag onto the wall. Oh, fun! And the and the drinks are supposed to be cheap, like and, and so so there's there's name tags up there from like twenty or thirty years ago. So it's like their last Cruise. trip, yeah. to Cozumel, and then they're and then they stick it up on the wall, and they're done forever. Like they're they move on to other things. Yeah, but like they get back on the cruise ship and go home, right? Uh, sometimes. I mean, I would. I, I, I saw it on YouTube. Shorts. I don't want. Okay. I don't want like. Mexico to be offended, but like if I had to choose a country to live in, no, no, they go back home. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Like, what you're gonna just well, gonna... well, you know, it's a lot of cruise ships they deadhead back to their home port a lot of times. Okay, yeah, without people on, just crew crew members on it, <laughs> just just empty. Yeah, that's spooky. Well, uh, think about it. It's an entire ship to yourself. We should take guesses on who shit's roommate's going to be. Dude, watch it be like a fucking smoking hot chick or something. It's uh, Unless she is a penis, she uh, he's, he's doing same sex in the room. Why the fuck would he do that? This isn't a sixth grade field trip. True. We're fucking grown adults, bro. Let's get some fucking peens and vagines in there, dude. Let's get it right. Just saying. True. If you do get a hot chick, I'll switch you. <laughs> See what happens. Yeah. See if she's interested in any slightly overweight upcoming comedians. Yeah, I don't think Justin will look good in the dress. Okay. <laughs> Fucking Aaron. Aaron. Oh. Fucking love Aaron. Aaron, did you make Mike drink hot tea? <laughs> you can sleep with anyone. Shit. I mean, it's a good point. It's a good point. I don't know. I know nobody named anyone. I know nobody named anyone. All right, well, there goes my last three brain cells. I don't know what the fuck he just said. Who laughed at that one? Somebody was like, (laughs) hell yeah. Good for you, dude. Hey, I'm I'm sorry I can't be like Cody and have a line out his door. I don't have a line out my door. I don't. I'm a lonely man. Not really. But, like, if I, I choose to be a lonely man. Because I'm emotionally unavailable right now. I sound like fucking... On the Hallmark Channel. He's emotionally unavailable. (laughs) I just... I don't know. It's got to be the right one, man. I'm tired of... uh, I've I've had my fun with dates and hooking up and shit. Like, I'm trying to get married, dude. Aren't you? Mm. Yeah, Mm. just trying to live life, do your thing. That's how I am, too. I just don't want to waste my time on that all the stuff. guys I've talked to. Marriage is overrated. That's what a lot a lot of people. I was like, dude, you guys are not selling it. Oh, I got to see. Jump! All right. Somebody's talking about you. What? No, because you sneezed. Oh, Aaron, thank you for taking care of Mike. Where do you see that? Oh. I don't know. I've never been married before, so I don't know. So it'd be nice to like come home and have like, you know what I mean? Somebody that's like happy to see you. You get a pet. <laughs> get like a dog. Get wagged a tail. <laughs> that would be funny. A dating show for what's, Cody on the No, ship. you could. No, it, there would be a night, and you'd be. Uh, what's what's the mystery date game? And you just ask yeah, the questions. dating game. Yeah, they ask some questions. Bachelor, bachelorette number two. What is? Are you a lady? <laughs> there are many different kinds of pies. If you had to describe yourself as a pie, what would you say? Um, I would say the apple pie, because I'm American, and the apple pie is very American. Pancake. <laughs> 
<laughs> Pancake. That's Unf- my fucking guy right there. Unfinished. <laughs> Unfinished. <laughs> Fucking uh, gooey on the inside. Pound. I want a pound cake because I'm gonna fucking pound you. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Do you like being pegged? That's do you right. like? Be- do you like? Uh, oh man, that would be really funny. So what? Uh, so I've even if it wasn't like, even if it was just like a joking thing, just to like meet new people. Even if it's like, hey, it's like a dating game. We take like a funny photo for like Facebook or whatever, but. That's it, you know. That mm. would be kind of funny. <laughs> you have to, okay, here's your five hundred bucks for participation. <laughs> here's, your fucking, here's your fucking five hundred dollars. Get out of here. Thanks. What? Um, no. I. A lot of times, can you look up the cruise ship beforehand to see what's on that particular ship? It's a good question. I think so. Uh, people in the comments, can you look up the cruise ship before entering the cruise ship because to see what's on it? Because I'm worried that they have a, a slide, and I saw somebody recently got stuck in one of those oh, slides. Sick, dude. Was it fucking? Uh, they had a loop, and the guy got and the guy got stuck in the middle. Yeah, you can't shit. Was it fucking Norbit's wife? You ever seen Norbit? <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen fucking Norbit? She gets on the slide. She's too big. And she's on the slide. She shoots off. <laughs> fucking Norbit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Does, it, does anybody know what the name of the ship is? Oh, uh, it's the Royal Caribbean. No, that's the truest line. It's all the same. Aren't they all the same? No. A lot of ships have different stuff on it. Like, like imagine all of us getting in a wave pool. I hope your sh- number is 280. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. My, 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 mine will probably be 310. Woo! What a moment. 310 uh, for a win. Oh, that's 310. What, uh, I ain't going in unless she's 310. That's so funny, dude. <laughs> and for a moment, I was like, what the fuck is he talking And then, boom. I was like, holy shit. Oh. I love that so much. <laughs> I hope your room number is 280. Fuck, dude. I wonder if we could ask, because mine's an interior one. Yeah, what do you mean? Hey, can I, my room number be this? <laughs> can I be number fucking 280? Can I be number 69? Uh, Hell yeah, dude. What else? Uh, Since we're talking about women. So, you know how, like, things are different now when with, like, dating? Like, like not making sure they have a... Vagine, rather than no, I <laughs> meant like I meant like in the sixties or whatever, you could like follow a girl home singing to her, and then she smiles, not and then you not walk. In the 60s, no. Well, whatever, dude. You know what I mean. We're like things where like you went out on dates now, and then nowadays, like, is it fucked up to just go up to a girl and be like, "Hey, you know, it'd be great if you sat on my face." <laughs> You, is that fucking too forward? 77. Yeah. What's 77? I prefer, he prefers 77 to 69. You get eight more. Uh, yeah. It's a good joke. It's a fucking banger of a joke. Six afraid of seven. It's seven, eight, nine. Fuck yeah. Radiance of the Seas. Sounds a little... Uh, it so, is. Are we going to be in a fucking horror movie? What is that? Did, so, did, did somebody pick that in June? Because of, because of Pride Month, what? Radiance of the Seas, hell yeah! Oh fuck! Oh hell yeah! What? The Rays are beating the fuck out of the Royals right now. It's eight to three. Wow, they came back. Yes, sir. We, we, we were watching that before the thing started. Mm-hmm. Gang, gang. All right. Um, I'm gonna look up Radiance of the Seas. While you looked it up, do you want to start with the top five? Sure. <laughs> Giant bang bus. <laughs> Dude. Wouldn't that be fucking so dope? <laughs> I mean, it's cool for me and you. We're single. Like, going on the cruise single is so much better. Well, I wonder how many couples will be on there. Yeah, who cares? Fuck them. I know. Let's see. Swimming pool, dining room, casino, card room, rock Wait, well, is he, rock I, climbing, three pools. Rock. Does it look like this physique rock climbs? Well, maybe. You're strong, right? 
If if there was a quesadilla at the top, maybe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bro, I'd get my ass up like, yeah, mom, mom, they're winning, yeah. Sorry, I get excited. Mom, go race. Yay. Uh, Isn't that funny? Radiance of the seas, and then go race. Sunshine. Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, there is. How many pools are there? I think I said three. Wow. Oh, do they have one of those things? With it was the, made in 2001, enhanced in 2011. What's the one with... Uh, oh, so is, there's 11 dining options, multiple bars and lounges, three pools, three whirlpools, rock climbing wall, mini golf course, basketball court, putt-putt, damn. full service, spa, and state-of-the-art fitness center. <laughs> Who's going to the fitness center? What a bunch of weirdos. I'll go to the fitness center, crack open a beer. Yeah, <laughs> we're fucking on vacation. I'm not doing a sit-up, weirdo. Um, oh, there's like a safari club. Dude, this place is fucking... Oh, there's a conference center. We're going to have a conference. This is a conference. People that like to go to conferences... <laughs> This is a conference of all the people that had like roughly fifteen hundred bucks. Uh probably the Miami hotel room would be nicer. Oh, for sure. The view we had. No, Aaron, I totally get what you're saying. I'm not saying that I, I'm not let me say it this way. I will see the fitness center. The fitness center probably has giant windows. I will take a look at the fitness center, but I'm not working out, if you know what I mean. Aaron gets it. Aaron's always trying to look out for me. Dude, talk about Titanic. They shouldn't put that photo up there. Jesus. Glacier. The fuck? There's a theater. Yeah, they probably have uh, performances. They, they have like stand-up comedy and shit, I think. Ooh, what if they have a mic night, open mic night? We're not doing no, that. No, I'm serious. We're not doing that. The it. cool thing but is... But the thick girls will be yeah. at the bar. <laughs> Watch out for the big girls. Now, bang, 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 bang. Um, no, uh, the, the reason I say that is... You're never going to see these people ever again. There's outdoor movie screens. Besides the MVP Yeah, I, what are you talking about? There's going to be like fucking Besides 150 the- people there that I'm going to see the next week. And they'll talk about it forever. If, if I, Unless I suck. Then you got to come up with the material now. I guess. You, you knocked them dead in the hospital, remember? I did. I didn't personally kill anybody, but it was a nice change of pace. But see, that's all. But that was all like improv. Then you should do more improv. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing like an improv group. We should get an improv like group. Penguin, together. remember it's Penguin Knife Fight? Yeah, Penguin Knife Fight's a great do a little improv group. Have Mike in it. Mike's good at improv too. He doesn't get the credit he deserves. You know what I mean? Because I'm always the loud one, and everybody's like, "Oh, Mike's fucking hilarious, dude. He's got some bangers." They're not appropriate a lot, but that makes it even better, you know? Yeah, Mike's you, a good improv guy. Yeah, you betcha. We could fucking zing, zing, zing. They have a zip line? Uh, I didn't see it. That would scare the crap out of me. I mean, I mean I'm not going to go on it. There's no alcohol in the zip line. What I mean, a weird. There's no alcohol in the zip line. You can't, you can't have one of those helmets <laughs> and you drink out of it while you're going down the zip line? Adult space? I, th- I There is no kids on this cruise, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think there's any kids on yeah, it. Yeah, this is Royal Caribbean, I know, is 21 and up, I think. Or 18, not... T- what? Well, this one uh, must be like 10 or 21. <laughs> I actually put 10 or 21. Uh, she's just so happy my voice is gone. I was killing it with my singing this week. Were you, was he, what was he singing? Frank? I got big butts and I can't... No, no, me. was he, though? What? He's always singing. What were you singing, Mike? Frank? That's why. That's why. Oh, you mean Frank Sinatra? Uh, no, he was singing a lot of stuff this week. I love that fucking guy. Yeah. Frank I, Sinatra? That's how he probably lost his voice. <laughs> right? <laughs> singing? Yep. I love that. He was, he. you know, he had the Celine Dion on in the... Because for the, for the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> Dick down in Dallas. <laughs> Dick down in Dallas. All right. Oh, yeah, we were going to do the list. We forgot about the list again. 
the list. I didn't forget. You forgot. Why? Rapping? Like rapping what? Mike was like constantly he, rapping. He obviously didn't rap Mike twice. is constantly rapping. Did you hear me? It's good stuff because most of the stuff I, I've <laughs> never heard before. Yeah. Well, I shouldn't say that. Like 50-50. He'll just come out with this whole thing and I'm like. Did you hear me? Huh. I had a joke and you just missed it. Ah, oh, fucking. He didn't rap twice. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That was good. That was a good one. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, I almost grabbed your water. Fucking zinger. Yikes. <laughs> 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 Love that. Love that. Uh, For the record, we're prompt. Those kids are great. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking zinger. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Fucking, that'll wake you up, huh? <laughs> All right. So what is this? Top five places that we'd want to go. We want to visit. Yeah. Now visit doesn't necessarily mean. <laughs> that's what that's what She's Aaron's like, face makes every time Mike takes his pants off. That eggplant is huge compared to oh, the face. Jesus Christ! No wonder. Could you imagine <laughs> your mom's house? <laughs> Ten thousand feet. The meme. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, it is. It's a fucking. All right, that's weird. All right, let's stop, let's stop talking about Mike's dick unless we're making fun of it. We can't compliment it, even though he's probably got a hammer. Is it? Right. Is that why you have so top, many? Top five. Hold on, hold on. Is, is that why you have so many tape measures in the work van? Oh yeah, dude. You got to put them together. Hell yeah, you got to roll that shit up. <laughs> You know what I mean? That sounded gross. <laughs> oh. Hell yeah. I love how Mike's favorite place, uh, or one place he wants to visit is your mom's house. He's been to both he of our mom's house. He does not want to visit my mom's house. <laughs> okay, so. Top five places to visit. You got a pen? No. Hell yeah. It's over yonder. Nope. You want to go first? Are we? You know what? I have an idea. Okay. If we spin the pen. Okay. And it lands on Mike, he has to give us his answer. And he's on. You, you want to go to Colossal Cock? What is, what <laughs> is that a the, part? What is the emojis that my mom just it's put a, in? It's eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so if we spin the pen and it lands on... Mike. The, Mike, then Mike has to give us his top five. Or well, at least one of them. Just one. Okay, all right, go get the pen. <laughs> ah, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, ah, fuck. Ah. Fuck. Wait, oh, my phone's back there. I was like, what is that? <laughs> okay. Do you want to do the honors, or should I do it? Do I? Do I? Am I a good spinner? Well, the last couple times <laughs> landed on me. Yeah. So right. hopefully it lands on Michelle. So this side, right? And if it doesn't land on Mike, fuck it. Um, we could ask somebody from the audience. Mike is the audience. So you're gonna you're gonna throw your mom under the bus like that? No, your mom's what, watching. What I mean is, when I spin it, if it doesn't land on Mike, he's just not a part of the top five. No, this is per. Are we doing it total or per turn? Yeah, I got it. Thank you, Mama. Um, that's where the coin went. You were looking for? No, she had a pen. No, but what I mean is, I'm gonna spin it, and you said if it lands on Mike. Then Mike has to give us one. Yeah. What happens if it doesn't? Yeah, right, right here. <laughs> what What happens if it doesn't? Then it's just out, and then it's yeah. just you and me. Okay. Yeah. So laid it on you. Ha! Fuck you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Eat a duck. All right, you got. It. Okay. Uh, my first one, and again, this is not in rank order. If I have to visit there. Yeah. First. And it, it, the thing is, is, it could be anything from like countries to like landmarks to all sorts. I of have stuff. a good mixture, and you're gonna be fun. You're gonna laugh about some of these <laughs> for the lady boys. That's that's a good name for a band, the Lady Boys. It's just dudes with long hair. Gay. We're the Lady Boys. What the fuck? 
I'm gonna have to go with Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. You know what that is? It's a mountain. In a mountain, what is it? Ancient Inca city on it. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Well, the cool thing is you can. Uh, I looked into it actually, and you can stay at a hotel that's on. I think there's a ho- like uh, kind of like resort that's close to it, mm-hmm. and you could hike up to it. Or they have like a I don't know if they have an elevator or whatever they have up to it now, but you can go up there and see it. I think the the one spot that like I would I'll be taller than you. So don't even start. If I wanted to like, if I sit down and I say, man, what's a place that I really want to go to, and see one day? Most of it is sports related. Really? Yeah. Most of it is sports related. The things that people find beautiful, I find beautiful in sports. Well, I find so it- I would say Wrigley Field. I want to go to Wrigley Field one time in Chicago. You've never the been Chicago there? Cubs. Never been. That'd be a really cool place for me to go. Sit in the sit in the outfield. You know what I mean? Just like, f- just take it all in. That'd be a really cool spot for me. You know, we could probably get cheap tickets to Chicago. Yeah, you can. Yeah. It's just going to Chicago. Machu Picchu's a little far. Yeah, it's fair. Go ahead. My next one, I'm going to go a little out of order. Um, this is going to be the oddest one, and I can't. I don't know exactly where this is. So I've been to... Uh, to mile zero. I've been to mile zero. Yeah, Key West? Yeah. No, Key West? D- don't get shot. I've been to Chicago. That's You're not going to get shot. Seward, Alaska. Seward? Yeah. Seward. It's a sewer. Seward. It's a sewer. He just wants to go to any sewer in Alaska. Go ahead. Uh, I've been to mile zero. I want to go to the opposite way. I don't know what, what that is. Like, like Antarctica or like... No. Bang, bang. <laughs> no, it's... Uh, I think it's in Maine is where the 95 ends, or is 75? I don't remember. It ends like, you know, it starts oh! starts at one end and ends in the other end. Oh, that'd be pretty wild. I wonder what's on the other end. Because Key West, what is it, just like a Big fucking... fat dick. <laughs> <laughs> you made it all the way. Now you're going to get fucked in the ass. Oh, my God. No, but, like, that is interesting because I see all the people taking photos of the Zero. Yeah. Which is just like a fucking... Thing, it's a buoy. Yeah, it's just a big ass buoy. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> oh yeah, gang gang. Um, see, like that kind of stuff. Like, it's a buoy, whatever. Like yeah. I, you know what I mean? I would be more. I don't know. Everybody's taking a picture in front of there. I'm no, I don't hear anybody taking a picture of the other end. Hell yeah, we. You should look up the other end seriously. What if it's in like Canada though? Well, I can't tell if that's a 95 or the 75. All right. So it's my turn? I guess so. Fucking Bora Bora, baby. Bora Bora. Bora Bora. Where is that? That's that place with the clear water. No, Remember when Justin Bieber went to Bora Bora with that random chick and a paparazzi kept taking photos of his dick because he was naked the whole time and it was like clear water? And then it was like just like fucking like a dock and then it was just like a like He's, a he's Canadian. Do you have to zoom in really hard? Well, maybe. I don't, I don't fucking know. I wasn't looking. But that's where I want to go. Fucking calm water, Bora, dude. Bora. Bora Bora. I don't know my geography. There. I'll show you photos. French Polynesia. Oh, okay. That. Oh, it's a ran- it's an island out there somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Fuck yeah. They used to call it the Indonesia. South Pacific Island. North- northwest Ooh. of... Tahiti. That's what Cody should look for. A Polynesian girl. I don't know how this turned into <laughs> let's talk about how single Cody is. Do you do you know how you know how much you know like I don't know. You're like, how do I say this without offending people? Yeah. You're getting ready to just talk like we didn't have microphones and then you're like, hold on a second, I could ruin everything. Go ahead. Why don't you go ahead? Uh <laughs> why don't you why don't you go ahead? Uh my next one, my third one would be um would be Thailand, but would be Bali. Bali. It's south of Bangkok. <laughs> it's like way south. It's it, it's where all the Europeans. Uh, so is it like the mouth? The mouth. Huh. No, like. So you have the Bangkok, like, then you have the mouth. Jesus. Just saying. no. It's it, it's where all it's where Europe vacations. Oh. Yeah. 
Nice. So like, so like Russia goes there. A whole bunch of other people go there. It's really a lot nicer, and I won't worry about hangover. Two situation. Oh yeah, Mike actually picked. Mike actually said one that I'm gonna pick. Oh, Fiji wouldn't be bad either. Yeah, so. I was I was talking about just uh, <laughs> local Italy. trap house. <laughs> local trap house, Italy. I want to go to Italy, dude. What? Italy would be fucking dope. Actually, it would be. I just I not only because I'm a history nerd, like the, the ancient stuff. Yeah, but it's just a beautiful place, dude. Um, yeah. And you know, Italy would be multiple trips because. There's too much. Well, there's so many different cultures in Italy. Yeah. There's so many different Not things. to mention the food. <laughs> of course you think about the food. Fuck yeah, dude. If you're going to go somewhere. Dude, we went to fucking New Jersey. Uh-huh. And, no, we, and then we drove to Philadelphia because I wanted to eat a cheesesteak. And was that one of the best cheesesteaks? Yeah, I mean, it was delicious. But that's, you know what I mean, though? But you're talking about food. That's, I mean. Yeah. Scotland. Aaron, I like where you're going with that. That's similar to what I'm about if we, to say. If we ever go to Scotland, everybody, Scotland. everybody's wearing a kilt. Sorry. Oh, I thought everybody was going to dress like Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of my swamp. Don't care. It's your turn. Uh, that cheesesteak did slap, dude. Oh, I have to ask Mike. And then you, who got the pizza? Who had the wherewithal to get the pizza? I think that was a Mike thing. I thought that was your brother. I it, thought might, you, it might have been my brother. I thought your brother was like, I got a pizza, too. I was like, you mother... Well, brother, the reason he wanted to try it, remember, was because of... Um, the rating from Portnoy. Yeah, Portnoy. Yeah. 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 One bite. Well, are you talking about Vancouver, Canada, or Vancouver, Washington? I'm talking my Clearly, it's Canada. Mm. Who's shouting out Vancouver? That's like saying, oh, I want to go to Walla Walla, Washington. What, you want to go to prison? Why would you want to go to... Mm. It's your turn, by the way. Number four. Um, okay, here's here's another one. I'd like to go to Denver. However, just for the airport. It's the largest, uh, technically a circus tent airport in the world. <laughs> Vancouver, Texas, dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Never knew. So, uh, Vancouver... I'm not familiar with Canada. Is that on the west coast of Canada? Uh, that is on the... I think that is west. Yeah, west. Yeah. So if we're going to go to Vancouver, we could just stop at the Denver airport for a layover. Probably would anyway. Yeah. Yeah, if, if you look at it, it's one of the... It's like the... Kill two birds with one Imagine an airport stone. just about a mile long, but it's in this giant like circus tent building. Really? Yeah. Look it up. It's fucking wild. Oh, it's so far. Come on. You ha- you're in a motorized chair. I was <laughs> just working on my superpowers. Chill out. Damn. I just got a picture from Chuck. You did too. Of Oh, there's a billboard on, on I-75 north of two cowboys hugging. And it says above the fruited plates. Interesting. All right. Got stoned in Denver. They go to Vancouver. Get stoned in Denver. They go to Vancouver. Um, so, for me, it's my turn, right? Well, did you look at the airport? Yeah. But it is my turn. Get stoned in Denver. They go to, to Vancouver. Who goes just for an airport? I don't know. It's a good point, Mom. Weird. There's nothing around the airport. It's fucking Denver. You could see mountains from there, but. They they say there's a secret military installation on the. Oh airport. wow! Yeah. Yep. That's. It's, it's pretty cool. It's huge on the inside. Yeah. That is kind of cool. Yeah. Um. I want to go where my family's from, in Ireland. I don't know where that is. Damn. But I want to find out what part of Ireland well, I'd like to go to my, my family's from, and I want to go there just well, so like uh, like a full circle thing. Well, my grandfather was adopted, but his his middle na- his last name would have been Walker, and he's and we're Irish. We're probably if I think at the time of the poorest place in Ireland somewhere. So mm-hmm. I, they don't have potatoes. I don't know. No potatoes. No potatoes. So a lot of I, a lot of the Irish that I know about is from my mom's side. Um, and 
It was so her hey, hey, maiden name. Danielle, don't fall into the Barney stone. So my mom's maiden name was Hart. Uh, but it was over in Ireland when they came over, they were O'Hart was the name. They were O'Hart, and they dropped the O, and then it was Hart. So it's like very, I'm very Irish. Well, did, uh, wh- wh- where are you going in Ireland, grows Danielle? In red. Huh? My beard grows in red. Oh, mine does too. Yeah. No, the, the reason I ask is uh, is yep. a- around the Blarney Stone. Grandpapa. They have... Uh, uh, all over. all over. She's just going to be all over Ireland. She's just fucking all in it, you know? Uh, she's going to bar hop You can't spell Ireland? Ireland without I. You know what I mean? And she's going to be there. Fact check him, Mom. Who, me? No, my mom. She's talking about my Irish side. No. <laughs> I know all about my Irish side from my mama, so. My mama said. My mama, 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 my mama, my mama, my mama, my mama, my mama, mama, mama said. Foosball is the devil. Bar hopping, obviously. She's going to be all over Ireland. She's going to be to the left, to the right. They're going to be like this. To the center, to the floor, to the wall. Hey, just make sure you to can the go bathroom. back. Yeah, it was my mom's dad's side. This is what she was He's saying. He's asking if you're Italian. No, I'm not Italian. What part would be Italian? I, I don't have any Italian in me. I'm German, Irish, um, Cherokee Indian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah, I do. I want to be in some Italian, whether it's like a person, uh, an Italian sub. I was about to say a sandwich. Italy. <laughs> like, that's the only Italian I wanted me is that sandwich. What, what number are we on? Yeah, your mom, grandma. My mom's giving me a history lesson in the chat. So I did one, two, three, four. So I have one more. Do you want me to go? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, we lost this live stream. What happened? I don't know. Lost the fucking live stream. Oh, we're back. There it goes. You're not even there anymore. Oh, there you are. Dude, I was like, did you fucking disappear? I teleported. Name? Holy fuck. So I would have to say the last thing I want to see, and then I think that goes along with kind of Mike with the Seward, Alaska. I want to see a glacier. Yeah, that's hey, that's a good one. Glaciers are cool, and they're fucking melting, apparently. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't know why that was so funny. <laughs> That's hot. That's hot. Yeah, oh, I, I definitely would have to see a glacier. Um, it, like uh, the you know the movie I'm thinking about. Do I think of glacier? Hmm. Do you remember the uh, he uh, in Waterboy? He takes out the the water from the igloo. Oh yeah. Hey, and Vicky Valancourt. Vicky Valancourt. She showed me her boobies, and I like, like them too. too. You're back. Is that mom? Is that an answer for things you want to see? You're back. <laughs> no, it was the stream. They remember the stream. Oh, the out. stream. Don't hit any icebergs. <laughs> Another ship sinking joke. We are fucking on fire as a unit, guys. And I'm glad I named it that. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> You're black. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. Wouldn't it be funny if I was, like, part black and didn't even know? Like, whoa, no wonder my hair's curly. That's crazy. Oh. I don't know. No, I'm not going to say it. Okay. No. So now I have to think of a spot. There's tons of places I want to go. I could do Australia. Ooh. Uh-huh. Yeah, but, yeah, but you know, there's a lot of things that want to eat you in Australia. Like those giant-ass spiders that are the size of your painting on the wall. Yeah. Or a shark. I could do. You might be part black, Mike. Uh, <laughs> your mom's saying that. Fucking zinger. Yeah, I might be. Does part your black. mom have something to tell you? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Keyshawn. <laughs> Keyshawn Johnson, the wide receiver. Um. Mom, dad. That's what I thought. Um. 
I think it'd be cool to go to Australia. I think. Down under. I think Australia would be cool. That or like Japan. Japan would be pretty sick. My buddy Blue goes to Japan all the time. He works for a company that's based out of Japan, so he goes there just like he knows Japanese. That'd be cool. I also don't know how to say it. I can't say Japanese without saying Japanese. It come from diaphragm. Oh, you bigger boy. Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh, you see me just poking my head out. Just going on, guys. Well, actually, you'd be taller than a lot of <laughs> Yeah, Blue, Blue took a photo one time, and uh, it was he took a photo of like his face, and it was just people's heads. He's like 6'3", so. Oh, man. He does have a Jufro. I do. You're right. You are correct. So, if if you had a, if you ha- if you could go tomorrow, and you had the opportunity, which would you go, Australia or Japan? Probably they're Australia. Not far, they're now. I, I want to say that they're not far away from each other. They are, but they're on the same side of the world. I'd probably go to Australia. Australia would be pretty cool. Just you know, different kind of. So you could box a kangaroo. No, I just you know just different kind of lifestyle. Just see what things are like there, and see because like the thing is is is. As Americans, we see Australia as a completely, you know, it's probably completely different than what it is. There's probably more similarities in Australia and the United States that, you know, people don't talk about because it's not, you know, fun to talk about. You know, they Good probably, mate. Yeah, it's probably just, you know, it could be America with accents and they have like, you know, different foods and shit. It'd be cool. Just see the views of like the world. You know how long that flight would be? Long. 17, 18 hours? No. 23 hours? Yeah, probably. Got like multiple, like you get like four pilots so that the two of them can no, sleep. No, I, I don't think you could even fly direct. I highly doubt it. You'd probably have to transfer somewhere like Japan. Yeah, or you would have to gas, gas up. No, you'd have to try to change planes. You think? I would think so. Let's say, let's say I wanted to go to Eastern Europe, just to say. I'd have to change, or let's say, let's say, somewhere in Asia, I'd have to change planes at least twice, maybe once or twice. <laughs> Jesus, Mike, Mike, do you have Alex here? <laughs> Stop talking about work. What on the Barbie? Right? He goes, Mom. Just to let you know. Justin will be there in the morning to grout for an hour. (laughs) Mike, this is what you get for not coming over, man. Mom hasn't seen you in like three weeks. Uh, But also don't come over if you fucking are Actually, you know what? Where's Justin going to grout? The bathroom. What what is going on here? Let's we're shutting this down. Whatever this is, we're shutting it down. Sorry, it's not the. <laughs> what? Oh no! Shit's is turning red from laughter. Uh, uh, see, I told oh. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Hey, Mike, when, when's Plumber going to be back? <laughs> yeah, when is the Plumber going to be back? Oh, yeah, the Plumber. <laughs> uh, bow, chicka, bow. Yeah. Too bad he's married. <laughs> That's funny. Mike, uh, I walk in. I left work, and I had, like, a fucking, I had, like, a headache. I was not feeling good. I was something was off, and I was like, I gotta get out of here. And I come, I walk in, and Mike's like, Your mom's hitting on the fucking plumber. I was like, What? He goes, Your mom asked me about the plumber. And I was like, Oh, cool. Um, <laughs> I was like, That's pretty cool, I guess. And then he like walked away. He goes, I didn't know what to do, so I told you. And then I come in, my, mom, my mom's like, oh, hi. And I was like, yeah. Mike, oh. I was like, Mike told me you're hitting on the plumber, so I figured I'd come home and ruin it. She's like, oh, that narc. <laughs> well, one, one could lay the pipe and the other one could seal the deal. Okay, why don't we relax, guys? It's my fucking mother. Chill out.
What is the most Australian thing you could think of? Probably kangaroos. But you can go see kangaroos at the zoo. Yeah. I am always <laughs> making it always <laughs> making it worse. He does. But it's funny, so I'm like, it's funny to... <laughs> <laughs> Steve Irwin, that's pretty Australian. Speaking of ways to die. <laughs> Fun ways to die. A didgeridoo? I don't know what that is. That's the, the Aborigines. They, they, they speak Yo, we got to turn this fan on. Your boy is sweating. Holy shit. Oh, some people are going to see some ass. Hold on. Oh, I love that. What are you talking about? Oh, hell yeah. I need a little bit of ass for you. Love that. Thick boy. Oh, the thickness. Oh. Oh. No, they, uh, it's it's a thing called wah, like the, they speak in that tube thing and they make the. Is that, that what that is? Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. I'm going to stop doing that for people to make a gif of it. Me going wah, wah, wah. Guy's going to make a gif. I'll make it like, shorter. Look at Cody. Look at Cody. Suck at that dick. I'll make a short of it. No. Oh. rays are my favorite. For taking out that damn Aussie. Who's the Aussie? Steve Irwin. Ah. Uh. Stung in the chest by a stingray. Ah. Oh, I thought you were talking about the rays. So bad. Yeah, that's that sucks, dude. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess, mom. Damn. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm looking at the Rays thing, so I'm looking uh, at like. Did they a, win? It's still the top of the eighth, so still got a ways. They got Deakman in. So, are you uh? So is softball over? Yes, I have golf on Mondays, but that's it. That's all you're doing. Yeah. Golf, podcast, school. I'm in a sport facility management class. I'm starting the classes for my minor for sports and recreation marketing. So I have that one. I have sports law, and then I have I have to take an accounting class, and then I have like a sports finance class. Those are the next, like those are my four next ones. And then I'll take three journalism classes to finish my major or my emphasis for my journalism emphasis, and then I have, um, uh, I have a my uh, general education capstone, and then my um, capstone for my degree. And then I'm done, so I only have like seven or eight more classes. I know. Pick. I'm excited for pickleball to, to keep going. I'm actually signed up for the summer. Did you? Yeah. I should really get on pickleball. It's fun, man. That's what a lot of people say. I bet you I'd be I'd really enjoy it. It'd probably get me moving too. There's pickleball courts here we could always play too. That'd be cool to practice. Yeah. Yeah. Practice makes perfect. Mike, you want to practice some pickleball at my house? That tea challenge is wild, by the way, from Bob to Sports. I didn't What's the tea I didn't challenge? finish it. So how it works is it was two V two. So you have like two golfers, two golfers are a team. They each hit a shot, then you flip a tee. And whatever the tee lands on, that's the shot you have to take. So if somebody hits a good one, somebody hits a bad one, you flip it and it lands on the guy hit the bad one, that's the shot you have to take. Yeah. Man, how do they keep coming up? We have 123 comments. <laughs> gang, gang. We have seven views. Seven you viewers, viewers currently. It's probably been in an app. Did your shit pop off? You oh, all right? Somebody sent me a direct message. Uh-oh. It's probably... It's a dick pic. <laughs> oh, fuck. Is it a dick pic? No. It's a dick. Who <laughs> messaged me? Oh, it's a guy who's dick. Do, do I know? My barber. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm watching this cat. He keeps asking every day. <laughs> I told him, get a webcam. <laughs> it's my barber. I'm watching his cat, so... Oh, look, he said, yeah, I'd like to practice. 
I have yeah. an extra paddle too. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. We'll just fucking get it one more person. Go fours on them. Get get Tony. Short stack the barber. You know what I said? So we we put in attic stairs the other day, like last week, mm-hmm. and we had to cut a section off the bottom. You've met Tony, right? Yes. This is what I sent him. I told him I found your ladder. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, Justin. Yeah. There Justin. he is. We were just talking about the cruise, man. Hey, you missed it. We fucking needed you, and you weren't here. Oh. So so, w- w- where are you going to go in Cozumel, Justin? I-, I bet you've been there before. Yeah, I'm sure. I would imagine. World traveler. Though. Forgot about that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy fucking got married and forgot about his friends. I'm kidding. Just kidding. I'm kidding. It's a joke I say to him. Well, he's all the way out in Parish. So. Yes, that's that's <laughs> the main reason. Six times? Oh, to Cosimo? Yeah. What's fun there? What is fun? I hope he puts women. <laughs> I hope to God. That's what the answer is. Fucking D's hoes. Yeah, I feel like we just went we're on going, one. Yeah, I, I think about that scene with the, the two hobbits. <laughs> we're going on an adventure. <laughs> oh. Well, we got to. Should we pick something in Florida to go on an adventure? Yeah. I want to go to St. Augustine for a weekend. I don't know why I thought you were going to say Sea World. <laughs> see, I want to go to Sea World. See if they'll hire me to be a whale. <laughs> Try to get a second job. Trying to be a fucking whale and see where do some tricks and shit. <laughs> They're shooting free willy too. Snorkeling and drinking in the streets and alleyways. So so drinking through a snorkel? So it's So Saint, it's like Tampa? St. Augustine is okay. I, I've been there like a couple times. There's a lot in there like cool history stuff. But it's very touristy. I went with so I went with Justin and Phil. We went to Fort Pierce. To go see Ron White, actually. And we went by this old, like, base, military base there. And we <laughs> sat in this thing. It was just us three. And they were playing, a, like, uh, like, a documentary for, like, it was, like, two hours. And the three of us just sat there and watched. <laughs> it was so it was so intriguing. Ask Justin about it. I, I really enjoyed that place. They let you, I think they actually let us, like, take pictures in, like, the, uh, fucking attire and stuff and hold the fake weapons and like it was like chips and stuff are you, are you sure they weren't like indoctrinating you into the neo-nazis or no something dude, like it was pretty cool man like it was really informational do you, do you remember the movie rat race when they when they when they broke down in the uh the, the hitler museum remember that no <laughs> no i haven't seen that yeah, movie uh, <laughs> that reminds me of you can play peekaboo then go to the zoo to see a cheetah Hey, did you know they're hiring at Peekaboo? <laughs> well, don't fucking blow the cover. Well, Are they really? <laughs> so if anybody needs real to weapons, yeah, they were real weapons, but like they, you can't fire them. But they were like real weapons. Justin remembers that was such a fucking killer time. It ended up being like a really great couple of days. Who so else we, did you go with? So it was me, Justin, and then Phil. This guy Phil that we know. So. With the three of Who's us drove Phil? to Fort Pierce, and then, I don't think you've met Phil, but the three of us drove to Fort Pierce, and then we, like, were hanging out, and then we went to a Ron White stand-up, which was pretty... Why was he in Fort Pierce? That's I don't know, place. but it was it was good. I enjoyed it. We went to the bar, hung out a little bit. The next morning... Before we drove back, we had a couple of hours we wanted to go check that place out. And we were fucking just chilling in that fucking used to be a base, dude. It was crazy. It was really cool. I I, mm. I love that history shit, too. Is that south or north of us? It's that way. So, like, we're... I think it's... Is it on the Space Coast? Yeah, I think so. That's the only place I like to go is Kenny Space Center again. Yeah, that'd be pretty sure. Ch- I've never been. No? Yeah, I'm afraid they're going to shoot me up there. Because I'm out of this world. What are you going to be like, William Shatner? <laughs> Hell yeah. Because I think it's going to be... Oh, it's straight across State Road 70? Yeah. It's down by like West Palm Beach. West Palm Beach is nice. I've been there. 
Yeah, West Palm Beach. Is I've been to the not great places of West Palm Beach. I didn't know there was such a. Oh, there is. Uh, well, they're they're not sketchy. They're just not. If you want to go to some place sketchy, let's go to Fort Lauderdale in Hollywood. Well, <laughs> let's not. Remember the shootout that happened. Hollywood, there? I was up to no good. I know I can I can get in there with I think everybody free. does this traveling and I just I think I get there for do we should do a scavenger hunt we should look up like a scavenger hunt get involved in it what and then I wish we could find the one last time that we that David had pulled up yeah that was fun I remember I made one and it was funny so I'm on Blues team and you had to one of the things was you had to go into KFC. And you had to scream. You sit down at the table. You have to scream. I ate the bones. Remember when yeah. they came out with the bonus chicken? And he fucking went in there. And he told me that he lost it. He just started cracking up. Because he's like, oh, this is the stupidest one. Like, I'll do that. I was like, all right. And he walked in. And he just started cracking up laughing, dude. Oh, The man. best one was when we went to Soto Mall. For that scavenger hunt, take shit did. in your dad's yard. Fucking yeah. burn, yeah. burn. Remember, remember that? that? Oh, remember. Uh, oh it's like, I'll tell that story. It's a good story. So we're doing a scavenger hunt, and one of the things of the scavenger hunt was shit outside, and we just did milk chugging, like milk chug, throw it up, and fucking bird wanted to do it, but bird is lactose intolerant, so he got like fucking two percent or one percent milk. Which was stupid. So he gets, he gets, it and he doesn't throw up. Yeah, he doesn't throw up. So he's just like got a fucking stomach ache or whatever. So we end up going to my dad's, which is right down the road from where we were. We go to my dad's house, and we're chilling. And David is eating a whole watermelon on the back Sounds porch. Like we did not look good as like a team. We didn't look good as a team. He ate a whole fucking watermelon. I was like, this is the most, this is the funniest thing. And then Bird was like, oh, I got a shit. And I was like, oh, dude, shit outside. And then everybody's like, yeah, yeah. And he's like, all right. I was like, right, let me go make sure it's cool with my dad. And I'm like 20. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, you know, we're like, I was like, was hey. It that long ago? Yeah. I, we were, I don't know if we were old enough to drink yet. I don't think and so. I was like, hey, dad. I was like, can Bird shit in the yard? <laughs> And he looks at me, and he goes, Cody, I have a bathroom. He can shit in there. I was like, no, 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 Dad, you don't understand. I was like, I was like, we have to, so we're doing like a scavenger hunt or whatever, which is why we're doing a bunch of crazy shit like the milk chugging or whatever. I was like, and one of the things is the shit outside, and Bird, who drank all this milk, and he's lactose intolerant, really has to fucking shit, and we're like, what a perfect time. So, like, we were thinking, well, what if he goes and stands by the shed and he just uh, fucking shits by the shed, you know? And my dad goes, wash it out with the hose. And we're like, ah! So we go out there and bird shits in the yard. And so we go to try to wash it out with the hose, right? I don't know what, what was wrong with bird. Grass never grew in that area. He killed the grass with his shit, and it never grew back. I was like, something's wrong with you. By the shed, yeah. And so, we're, it was hilarious. And then, fast forward, years and years and years. I'm at my father's funeral. Okay. It's a very sad time. Bird... Being a good friend, wanting to be a good friend, goes to the funeral of my father uh, to support me and support, you know, Mm. pay respects. I appreciate it. And, yeah, that's right. Bird did throw up in Mike's yard and the grass never grew there either. What if Bird's fucking toxic? So, anyway, long story short, so we're fucking... You know, bird shit is toxic. Probably. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense. Maybe we're on to something. So it was at a point where, like, at the funeral, people come up. It's like that weird thing where it's like a fucking carousel of people giving you sad faces. Yeah. Because you know what I'm talking I'm about? I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah. yeah. So Bird comes up, and my stepmom is there. And I remember I was like, oh, Bird's going to be there. And I was talking about this story, you know, crazy, like, 
you know how crazy it was. She goes to Bird because Bird goes to give her like a hug or whatever, and, and she goes, "Is this the gardener?" And it fucking killed me, dude. She said that. Yeah, fucking <laughs> killed me, bro. It was. I mean, you want to talk about comic relief, right? Bird's fucking. Bird doesn't. He won't like shit in the house, mom. It'll be all right. He's. He's like house trained or whatever. <laughs> but no, it's hilarious. Well, you know what it sounds like? It sounds like even if he shits in the house, like, you know, in the toilet, his shit's going to eat the toilet. It definitely does seem like that. But I have lived with Bird and he hasn't melted a toilet at all. No. So. What if he shits in the shower? It's gross, dude. <laughs> do people do that? I guess so. <laughs> You're like, I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know what's happening. Oh, man. What an awesome story. I just got my new sod. She did. She just got new sod in. <laughs> oh, I hope Bird. I know for a fact that Bird is either not awake or he's at work or he's definitely not watching this. I hope one of these times he's just like, all right, I'll listen to this, and it's this fucking podcast that he listens to, and he's like, oh, fuck. I have to waffle stop the shit <laughs> down the tree. Oh, fucking get in there. You get in there. So if we Put did... Your mouth on the curb. Put so your- if we did do a scavenger hunt, and I mean, I could, we could just spout it off and we could type it up. Don't get no. It's not just milk. It's cheese. Yeah, cheese, milk. Um, like so, like if you eat something at like a nice place, you know what I mean. Like not fast food, it gives them some gas too. So if we go out like not yeah, like but, a yeah, four or five star restaurant, but if we went to like Ford's Garage. But- he would fucking, yeah, his dairy's out of control. Yeah, but what doesn't have dairy in it? Everything's got dairy in it. Yeah. So dairy affects his dairy Everybody's air. got dairy. A dairy air. <laughs> Bang! It's not that he's, I don't know if he's been diagnosed lactose. I think he might be. But he still has dairy anyway. He drinks lactate, I think. He does. He does drink lac- lactate milk. That's right. Is it Mike? I actually had dairy free cheese the other day for the first time. How'd it taste? I knew it wasn't real. I don't know. <laughs> it's like hugging a stepdad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess, but I know it's not real breast milk. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that's what he needs is breast milk. Titty milk. Titty milk. I love where this is going, dude. So, so I have a question. <laughs> hmm. So, so if is two eighty considered low fat and three ten? <laughs> whole milk. Oh, but- <laughs> <laughs> Only if the person is dairy free. Oh, so what? So if it's a lady and she drinks like a carton of milk. And then, like, hypothetically, shit sucks on her titties and gets milk. That milk's going to have dairy in it? No. I don't think that's how that works. Well, hold on. Erin's pretty smart. She might fucking know the answer. Let's. Well, she, she is. We're, I love how we stopped the pod, and I'm looking at the chat. I'm like, no, I'm waiting for the answer. Hold on. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Really? That does See? Yo, what's up with all these people fucking agreeing in the chat? I think still. they're just agreeing. I don't think that's real. I think she's like, that's another woman. Women unite. Yeah. I don't know. It sounds good. It sounds right. It sounds like something that would be so, right. So, you know, it doesn't sound something so, that's unorthodox. Let's, let, let's, let's put the logic in here for a second. So let's say somebody eats from, a uh, woman eats from Taco Bell. Are you going to taste taco seasoning out of the... No. But the dairy... Makes the milk that she produces have dairy in it. Just like if she eats a Hershey bar, it's chocolate milk. <laughs> That's utterly perplexing. Oh, <laughs> fuck. It's like the pineapple for cum. <laughs> Shit can taste different. I taste the rainbow. Wow. Same way medication would you. I knew medication would. 
Like, you can't take heroin and then, like, breastfeed a baby. You also, by the way, I should note, shouldn't do heroin as well. I think that we sh- we should... Just crack. We are an anti-heroin podcast. Oh, that's right. It's the proteins in the milk. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking proteins in the milk, dude. Mm. Muscle milk. There's a lot of, like, fucking... Uh, be cooler if you did <laughs> heroin. Be cooler if you did. There's a lot of bodybuilders that pay women for their breast milk, for like their shakes and shit, because they say it's got like something else. I don't know if it's like enzymes or. I mean, I think they just want to suck on some titties. Would you try it? What breast milk? You know, honestly, if somebody put it in the fridge, you wouldn't know. I, I think you would. Not if they put it in like a fucking carton. Hold on a minute. When was the last time you got milk out of a carton? That's fair. That's fair. Remember school, where you'd have it, yeah, I and then you have school. to you have to fold it back, and then you'd go to pinch it forward, but it would never pinch. So then you had to, you know what I mean? Human growth hormone. <laughs> you would. I wouldn't. I don't think I would. I mean, it depends. I would do it as like a dare, but I wouldn't be like, oh, let me have some of that. Yeah, I figured you know the difference. Yeah, for sure. But if you do meth as a pregnant woman, you have to you have to name your kid Crystal. That's a good rule. That's a good rule. Or ice. Ice? Yeah, for like dudes. Fucking ice. You have twins as Crystal and ice. Hell yeah, dude. I like that. Mike's like fucking coming up with rules for life. I love that shit. What's the... I lost my train of thought. Hell yeah, dude. I love it when that happens in the middle of the pod. You're like, oh, I got a fucking zinger. And then your brain's like, what about feel? I had one blonde moment a day and I just had it. Oh, that sucks, dude. Could be worse. We could be terrible people. Who says I'm not? It's a good point. That's a good point. Don't tell me, don't tell me I run my life good. Don't tell me what I'm doing. What you mean? Uh... Oh. Oh. Oof. Baby comes out with a much teeth as a mom. <laughs> Call that meth mouth. Bang. Bazingo. The razor up eleven to three. Mike with the zingers tonight, yeah. He's like, oh, man, I wish I could say it, but my voice is gone, so he has to, like, fuck it. <laughs> Mike's out here controlling the chat, you know what I mean? Talking about the spread. Making the hair. He's throwing that dick around. Meth, methamphetamine. Throwing it around. Maybe it's methamphetamine. It's like maybe it's me- Maybelline, but... Is is that with other stuff too besides dairy and and drugs? What else? With could breast milk? Yeah. No. I'm not a breast milk connoisseur of sorts. So, chat regulators. I'm taking these off. Makes my head sweaty. I'm not gonna be able to hear from the 280. Hell of a pod, boys. There's a lot going on. I'm not like a huge fan of us. Continuously talking about my mom. Cody's but, mom has got it. But on. yeah, dude, we definitely not today. We talked about the cruise. Uh, what did we talk about today? The cruise. We talked about. It's just. I think it's just more of like it's a curiosity. I, yeah, I think what it is is like I don't think shit's necessarily he's like trying to drink breast milk. I think what it is is he's just curious, like what what it is, like what you know, because they always say like. Whenever, like, I understand in a concept of, you ever, like, see somebody who has a baby and she can't, like, breastfeed for some reason? Do you ever notice, like, they get, like, super fucking sad about, what? like, like a woman has, like, a kid and then, yeah, they're just fucking zinging on you in the comments. Just, but, I could just squirt it yeah, on the wall. But, like, a woman has, like, a kid and then, like, she can't breastfeed, but then she gets, like, really sad about it. But it's, like, you know, for specific reasons why I don't know if because like she wanted to or whatever so they have to do like formulas I think there's a difference between the two I don't think it's something that like you know what I mean mm. but I, I'm sure that there's a reason why 
He wishes he could produce some. My movies are shrinking. It's it's becoming less and less of a possibility. Oh, dude, I might fucking take a nap. We've been on here for an hour and a half. No, it's one twenty-four. Yeah, whatever, hour and a half. So, what else? What else are your plans for the rest of summer? I'm the for the summer? Yeah. What are we in high school? I don't. Bro, know. I gotta fucking work on Monday. So work, I gotta finish school. Okay, let's just say, let's rephrase that. The hottest months of the year. Uh, I'm gonna go to a couple of. I'm gonna try to go to a couple of Rays games. Uh, it's kind of. I don't really have plans, so kind of going with the flow, you know. Maybe try to find my way by a pool somewhere. Maybe have a nice like uh, floaty margarita combo just or something. Just make sure there's water in the pool before you get in there. That's a good point. Hey, you know what? That's a good point. I don't know. You know what we should do? We should have a crew water park day. Yeah, get all the people together, yeah. just like the old days. Yeah. Remember when we, you went to Wet and Wild with us, didn't you? I don't think so. Uh, who was it? My that was uh, uh, Travis. I think Travis organized that one. <laughs> My goal this summer is to get shit fired from teaching, so he's stuck with Superior. That's <laughs> hey, you know. You can fucking What try. a superior attitude. <laughs> you can try, dude. Like, it's good to have goals, you know? But. I you think he's lonely in the truck. You know how hard it is to get fired from a teaching job? Uh, oh, I know people who've gotten fired pretty quick. Yeah, I know. It, it was a joke. There was a guy. I'll tell this on the pod. There was a, there was a teacher that, uh, I don't know, I forget if they were a sub or they were a long-term sub. Most of the time it's subs. They decided to, uh. They decided to teach the kids about the history of the word fuck. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Instantaneously. That's like, a, don't come back. It's funny. I remember in high school, we had a sub, and I was in like a sophomore in high school, and the sub constantly talked about how hungover she was and gave her number out to like three of the students. <laughs> she was not allowed to sub anymore at Braden River High School. <laughs> I was like, fuck, dude. I was not one of them, for the record. I didn't have game. I was a loser in high school. Let's see. A teacher... Actually, <laughs> funny funny story. Just be a racist as you are. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> hey, Sus! Do I you love me? No, I freaking hate you. Uh, I'm just quoting Vines. Don't mind me. You know what? It's, in some ways, it is hard to get fired as a teacher. It depends. On the it's like, dude, I'm guys. fucking tenure, dude. I'm not trying. No, I'm not. There is know, no tenure anymore. But no, well, you're not. We're not actively trying to get you fired for you, teaching. You'd be surprised. I mean, it, there, I've seen some. It's surprisingly it, not doing it's your all job. About, it's all about fired. who you know. Like it's all about who you know. <laughs> surprisingly not doing your job. Oh, believe me. Fired. I, I I bust my bust my bust my ass, and then there's other teachers like I remember this this guy. When I first started teaching, he was upstairs. <laughs> Look at all those chickens. <laughs> Quoting vines, dude. Fucking. He, uh, he literally would put a movie on, and he'd fall asleep in the back of class. Oh, yeah, dude. And he'd do his crossword puzzle. He his crossword puzzle, and then he would just give him worksheets. And, he, of course, he had tenure. Couldn't get fired. Yeah. I remember my sophomore year of high school, I had an English teacher who was retiring the next year. I didn't learn a fucking thing. In Wait, that class. wasn't it? Uh, what was her Ms. name? Miss Henderson. Henderson. Yeah, she would lecture though. Oh, she she'd would. Love, she would lecture, and like somebody would like she would hear something. She would be like, "Don't interrupt me during my lecture." And I'm like, "Are we into fucking English 101 at like USF? What is a lecture? What are we doing now?" It's like uh, more like hurricane. Hurricane Tortilla, or like, oh. So bad. Or, um, road work ahead. Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. What, um. Come to Del Taco. They got free, sh- free Shavakadu. <laughs> Shavakadu? Free Shavakadu! Oh. Have you tried Del Taco? No. I haven't either, and I, I keep getting because I'm 
doing Uber Eats now? Well, like, yeah, the problem is, 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 is fuck your chicken strips. <laughs> 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 fuck your chicken strips. No, uh, the problem is, is like, I'm not driving my ass all the way down to 64 for fucking Del Taco. So, and I'm definitely not going to Uber Eat it and then get it cold. It'd be you? fucking cold. I could Uber Eat it. Yeah, I, I could Uber Eat it. I'll fucking shred it. Oh, there's three. <laughs> oh, man, I remember when I got stuck on Shredit, bro, the last time we were doing the pod, and it was fucking insane. I was just yelling in microphones, and that's pretty much what I do. They did put it on 41. A Del Taco? No, they fucking did it. I think they're going to open another one on Cortez because there's they're redoing that... Uh, that old Chinese restaurant down there, close to Hideaway down there. Oh, Bird just posted in the group chat. What did he post? Just some video or whatever. Oh, dude, I got forty percent off my next forty dollar alcohol order. Well, alcohol order. That's just south by Wendy's. Get the fuck out of here, Delta. Dude, I gotta start going outside. Oh, it's only a $2 delivery fee. You want Del Taco? I've, I've delivered Del Taco before. Crinkle cut I literally fries. delivered halfway across town. I delivered from that Del Taco. Fucking on stuffed quesadilla taco. Who's going to gonna army crawl? Um, back to that. the fucking... Dude, I'm not going to know where my room is. That's true. I'll be like, I sleep here. They'll let you just sleep by the pool, right? Yeah, on one of the da- on the, the sun chairs. Yeah. yeah, they'll let you fucking pass out. Do they have a fucking quesadilla taco? Fucking, they took my bed of shitters. Yeah. If I have nowhere so, to drive to, shits, you get fucked. If you don't have like a responsibility of like driving home. Or taking care of somebody. I'm always driving people. That's why. I know. When you let loose, holy shit, dude, you get after it. I have to do, I have to make a rule, though. I'm always like, fucking look at I have to make a rule. One shot per hour. Not, this is not going to be bowling. Yeah, dude. Justin, this is not going to be bowling. Yeah. (laughs) You're not even going. Yeah, you're not even going, Mike. I'm getting pizza at 3 a.m. every night. You get pizza at 3 a.m.? Yeah, the buffets and stuff are open 24 hours, aren't they? Holy shit. I think. Hey, the Rays won 11 to 3. So. Gang, gang. So, Justin, enlighten me on. The, they win? Yeah. Sweet. Wow, they, they kicked their ass. Mm hmm. Gang, gang. Oh. Uh, no, it's not going to be worse than bowling. Because, no, because fuck that shit, we're dude. extending this through the entire day. And we're also old. Like, I'm no. all for... No, okay. I'm all for getting some drinks together, so, so catching how, a buzz, and enjoying myself with friends. So, Justin, how to early can you get a drink the on the side. cruise ship? When you wake up, dude, you can get mimosas and shit. You're going to pay for... So I, ha, so I have to put out? Is that what you're saying, Justin? <laughs> Dude, this fucking Del Taco menu looks dope. It's huge. Have you seen it? Yeah, because I delivered from there. Holy yeah, shit. Huge. Mini churros. Oh, they have churros? Donut bites. Diabetes. Fuck. <laughs> that freaking... That freaking... They got, uh, like, subs. They have fucking subs. So, uh, so I'm, I'm going to Orlando on Sunday, yeah. and I'm driving with my boss and my roommate, you know, yeah. and, and they're both diabetics. And, and I posted... I posted the... <laughs> The math problem. Jimmy has oh, yes. he has uh, 52 candy bars. He eats 20. <laughs> and it's just the it's just the diabetes. It's the, little, it's the little kid, but it has his face on it. And then Mike posts diabetes dense pies. I totally, <laughs> I totally reposted that. Well, there, I mean, there's no point. Oh, <laughs> there you go. He's probably got points for that. He's got points. So, you didn't answer me. What time does the bar open? Or does it ever close? I have no idea. I have I'm no asking f- Justin. 
I, I'm sure they have to close at some point to restock. I don't think so. I really don't. Unless Danielle knows. Danielle's probably on lots of cruises. Yeah, she's got the shit figured out, right? Oh, just paying for everybody. Jesus. Who else wants to go? Come on, Mike. <laughs> just Nobody's is, going. Just is paying for your drink package. Let's go. Hey, Cody says he's going to stand up, Mike. I'm not doing that. Guys, I am. It's always open. I'm over here trying to order Del Taco, and you guys are. are you seriously fu- ordering? Fuck yeah, I am. There's wings left over in there. I know. You gonna put wings on your Del Taco? No, I'm gonna eat Del Taco, and I'm gonna. That's insane. Isn't that scary? 150 of us as a group, as a unit, marching to the bar. You know, on the line, fruit for King Bake. Marching to the bar? What you, are we, an army? You know how long the line would be? It's going to be ridiculous. That's what I'm saying. They let me get it's like, four. dude, I'm all for, like, having some drinks and coasting out. But, like, if I'm going to be on a cruise ship, especially for the first time, I want to enjoy it and remember everything. You know what I mean? Like, I want to, yeah, it's okay to have some drinks or whatever. But, okay. like. So, remember, th- there are different levels of you. Which yes. level am I going to see most of the time? Like, gay Cody. Gay Cody? Yeah. Just loves everybody, loves everything. Are you going to wear Speedo? No, no, not actually be gay, but like, you know, when it's like, hey. I should say flamboyant Cody. Like, just enjoying everything and fucking hanging out and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Singer! <laughs> I should get a, I should get a, I should get white Russians. Oh, fucking white me. Russians, dude. Oh, <laughs> Oh <laughs> yeah, bro, dude! What a banger from Alan. That's freaking hilarious. Uh. Yeah, I've known you for a few months, and just now realized you are. Remember that? There was. A, oh, is that a, a, fanatics? A, yeah, fanatics. We're we have the out. video still. Yeah, we're hanging out, and there's a guy. We were just all sitting around at a table, and he was like, dude, we've been hanging out for, like, a few months, and I just now <laughs> figured out that you're not gay. And I was like, yeah, dude, I'm not. I'm just like, fucking, I love everybody. The guy uh, at the bar? Are you talking about the one you guys went to Patty White? No, we're talking about, oh, which one? Are we talking about, like, what you just said, Mike, or are we talking about the guy that at, at, after 88? We'll wait for him to answer. We'll leave everybody in suspense. Would it be funny if he just doesn't answer? Fanatics, yeah. No, my favorite time of UF Fanatics was when yeah you, the wait. blackout. The I don't think you were blackout. There's been plenty of times. The no, not uh, yeah. I remember Jesus. that. Time. <laughs> yeah. No, Mike. We're where. We're talking about. Remember that time he just, he was demonstrating he was eating ass with the pitcher. Yeah, I, I was blackout. He doesn't remember this one. Yeah, I was blackout. Do you through. remember that? No, I was blacked out. Oh, that was the funniest thing. You just hold. that was honestly probably that next fourteen hours after that was the worst fourteen hours of my life, mentally, mental health wise. Probably the worst fourteen to eighteen hours of my life. <sighs> you were in rare form. Like that, that was, but think about it. That could be, that could be you on a cruise. Yeah. But why do I want to be like that? Well, my biggest decision on the cruise is should I drink hard liquor like Tito's? I was going to be drinking beer. Or sh- yeah. Or should I drink beer? The man from mother Africa. Jesus. Jesus. Are you sure? Are you high on cough medicine, Mike? Mm. You drinking that Robitussin real hard? Mm-hmm. He keeps going. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here before we get fucking canceled. You, you ready? I, oh, that's right. I have to end it. You have right? to end it. We're yeah. just sitting here. I'm sitting here. I swear to God, guys. So I'm ordering Del Taco. <laughs> so it's fucking nine forty at night. So are we gonna be? Are we gonna be here next week? Yeah. What if Mike doesn't have a voice? Well, then I guess 
Just us again. He could pantomime? <laughs> pantomime. <gasps> I can get one of those little whiteboards, and he could write he on could it. He just write. <laughs> Is it? I've never had it. Oh yeah, Mike. It's pretty cheap. Dude, I'm it, so excited to it, see you on Sunday. It's pretty cheap, isn't it? It's for so for, so far, yeah. I mean, it's Oh, we could do a video review of Del Taco. The fuck you mean? I want you to do fast food reviews. Aaron said that. Imagine <laughs> 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 It's pretty good, I guess. Like <laughs> they'd be the Mission too, Justin. Oh, we could do that. You know, you could do a wing challenge. Hooters wing challenge? I don't. No. I mean, I guess. I mean, eight tacos and two churros. Dude, I'm not going to lie. I was fucking looking at those churros. I'm thinking about it. I'm actually going to get the donut bites instead. Have you heard of a mukbang? A mukbang? Yeah. Yeah. You could do one. It of sounds those. like something naughty. You could. It is pretty bad. You could do that. Mm, that would be cool. I'd I'd have to pace myself on the buffet though. At the there'd be so much food there. It'd be like oh, it'd be like Golden Corral. Fucking <laughs> Golden <laughs> Corral. Oh man! All right, guys. Great news. I ordered Del Taco. What'd you order? I ordered the quesadilla taco. Um, the donut bites, and I got a burrito. Is it coming all the way from over there? Yeah. They're fucking driving it. It's going to be cold and shit. I'm excited. Oh, they were, it, it took me, it took them 20 minutes to make, make the order. I'm not even going to be able to eat it. all of it. I just felt bad because it was, like, so cheap. It was, like, eight bucks. I was like, fuck, now I feel bad. Like, I don't want this guy to drive, for like, 15 minutes, you know what I mean, one direction for an $8 order, but I did it. Fuck it. What's what's the tip they give option they give you? I think it gave like five bucks. That's not bad. Yeah, it's not horrible because you just shoot up. 70. I don't like I don't like people that don't tip well. That shit fucking bothers me. Oh, it, it does. Yeah. I had I drove a couple a couple of them. This is why I don't do the McDonald's on Manatee Avenue anymore, because that would make me drive all the way down. I drove all the way to the point on Amory Fuck. Island, and it's like for how many dollar order? I'm not driving all the way out there for yeah. That. All right, you ready? I guess so. Uh, uh, now I'm ready. All right. Okay. Well, we'll see, see you guys. guys next week. So uh, probably, if not Thursday, we'll do Friday again if something comes up. I think that's yeah. the plan. I would prefer Thursdays. Yeah, for your schedule. Yeah. Yes. But I also will adapt if need be. Yeah. Peace. Delivery guys, buy your house. Just making a killing come to your... Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Okie dokie. See ya.